What's up guys, welcome to 1UX1 and today I'm answering the question about how do you start a UX design or research project, i.e. how do you build your first case, how do you know what to do on day one of your job, what is it like to start a project. So it starts with something called the discovery phase, you need to discover what is the problem you're trying to solve and that's where it all begins. So you start your first day of your project with a case, you want to build a case, just like in a court case, you would build a case against the other side in your own defense. It's a bit like that. You're building a case of what is the problem we're trying to solve and also how do we know it's a problem? So how do we know that this actually is a real problem worth all our effort of running all these sprints and running through all that research, ideating, prototyping, building? What if it's the wrong product at the end. So we want to discover that through user research but before that we do something called a kickoff meeting. So a kickoff meeting is when we call our key internal stakeholders i.e. your internal team that could be yourself. So if you're a UX designer you'd call the UX researcher, if you're the UX researcher you'd call the UX designer to the meeting, you'd call a product owner or product manager which is basically your supervisor or lead. You may call a somebody like a service delivery manager who is the boss or the person that runs the whole project or responsible for the whole project. You may call a service designer. You may call somebody who works in content writing. So they make sure all the content that's written on the website or the app is in good language uh, grammatically. It makes sense to users. Now what's really important here is that every team varies. I've never worked in a team that was similar to another team. So sometimes you have two user researchers, two designers, sometimes you have one UX designer, one user researcher, no service designer, no content writer and I've seen projects where there's three content writers because the website has a lot of content that needs to be checked in terms of what the language is and do users understand what's written. So it all varies, there's never two projects that are the same. Now when it comes to that kickoff meeting, you, you book a meeting, let's say you're using Teams or Slack or any other app, you call everybody to a meeting and you have an agenda. So if you're a UX designer or UX researcher, it's the same because even if you're a UX designer, you're still doing user research and if you use a researcher, you're going to discover the problem. So either way, you need to know how to do this. So you will set up a meeting and say, right guys, what is the assumptions that we have? What are we assuming? about the user. What are we saying that the user needs are? So for example we may say that the users are finding it difficult to find the contact us page for example. So i.e. where is it located in the information architecture? Where is it on the page? Is it in the corner? Is it at the bottom? Is it easy to find? And is it easy to use and actually contact us as an organization? And you must have seen sometimes you get these contact us pages that are you have a name, you have a form to fill in so you have a field which asks you for information and people really shy away from that so there's a big drop off rate so they don't like these long contact us forms they just want a quick contact. So you want to research whether you even need a contact us page or do you want something like a chat bot or live chat is that a solution. So you want to ideate and discover with your team by discussing what are the options, what is it that we want to build and will this be the solution that we need? So you start with an assumption because you don't know yet what the problem is or what the solution is. So you assume that that's the problem and that's based on some data. So it may be a developer from the back end who tells you that we've seen the drop off rate, people are not engaging with the contact us page, they're not using it. So what can we do to con help them contact us so that we can help them in return? Because a lot of people have queries, problems and they like to contact the organizations and we need to make that easy. So you make an assumption that the page is difficult to find, another assumption could be that the page is too lengthy and people really can't be bothered to complete it. So that's how you build your case. So you're building a case based on some assumptions which you're now going to plan to validate. So you're going to start to plan your user research around those two problems. One, the contact us page is difficult to find. Number two, contact page is not a good user experience, i.e. it's not user friendly, people don't want to complete it, there's a high drop off rate. So now you've created a problem that you want to start to discover and solve. So this is how 
we build a case to improve a design, a prototype, a website, an app, a software of any sort. So once we do that, we start to script the questions. So what are the questions around that? And one of the things I do that really helps is I send out an email, I create a Word document and I say, right, okay guys, tell me your thoughts on these areas of the Contact Us page. And I share it with my whole team. And sometimes everybody replies, sometimes no one replies, or you get the one, one reply. Because people are busy doing their own work and you're only asking for a favor. But I find it helpful because you're asking them to tell you what they think might be helpful here. So I would put out a form, uh, just a table on Word and say, right guys, this is like a gap analysis of what the gaps in this user journey or an evaluation of, of that journey. So I'd say, okay, contact us font, contact us page, layout, and then I'd ask them for any suggestions that they have, any solutions they may offer, any assumptions that they have. I'll ask them to write it down and email it back to me. So I normally give them four to five days to do that. It's plenty of time for them to get back to me with those solutions. That way we know that we haven't missed any of my colleagues' thoughts on this or solutions or anything from their experience that we can add value to the design. So that's like an internal user research, you could say, or internal focus group. And then capturing those insights and using them in the website in terms of scripting those user interviews and then eventually it will go into the design. So that's how I build that case and use that to inform the design. If you're finding this video useful guys, don't forget to download the free guide and subscribe and also visit our website for our latest courses. I'll see you on the next one guys. This is 1UX1. Take care. Thank you.